Hi guys, I have another March monthly reset and refresh whole house clean for you. So if you have missed episodes one and two, you might want to go back and watch that. So let's get started, shall we? If you're new to my channel, my name is Michelle and this is my everyday wife life where every day is a fresh start. Okay, at some point I slow the camera down here to normal speed so you can see the speed that I actually work in, which is pretty dang slow. I am not running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I am just slowly cleaning and doing all the things. As I'm going around the house finishing up this whole house March reset, I am taking mental notes of what still needs to be done throughout the month. Like Hobby's water bowl dish still didn't get um, cleaned out, so I have to do that. I'm not sure what else. We'll see. Yes, I use my sink as a laundry basket. At least I'm not using the chair. So I no longer have a laundry basket in the master bedroom. If you are new here, I just throw everything right into the laundry basket in the laundry room that has working out so much better. And yes, after I take a shower or before I take a shower, I throw my dirty clothes into the bathroom sink and it either gets cleaned up the next day or sometime, yes. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Let's put a finish on it today, shall we? I had a little thought. I mentioned that I'm going to redo this and this. That's too much clutter. I want it to be simpler. I'm definitely keeping that. Let me see if I get a close-up. Oh, that's too close. I'm actually thinking that would go perfect in the family room instead. So that's going to go because it's just a dust collector. Oh, I think that will go too. That actually would go in the family room too. I don't know. I kind of like that. I think I'll keep that. That's going to go. And I'm just going to put, I'm thinking about putting a shelf up there. And then, I don't know. Anyway, but I, def I think that would go in the, um, because I got birds in there and, and the little birdhouse is like that little sage green color. I think it would go good in the family room. So I'm going to move some stuff around for sure. Yeah. All right. Continuing on with my daily chores. Let's put a finish on it with the, uh, going to do the dishes and then clean zone three. So moving on to cleaning zone three. But first, I'm going to do part of my daily chores, which is to do the dishes and counters, since I already did a reset of the kitchen in episode two. Wow. 
what? I'm finally caught up on dishes. I really have an issue with waiting to wash, to run the dishwasher until I have a full load. I really need to get over that. And also I wanted to give you a little tip. So recently I ran out of dishwashing tablets, which are ridiculously expensive or pods, right? So I looked up what I could use instead. So you can use baking soda and three drops of Dawn. That's it three drops of Dawn and let me tell you, oh wait, and I particularly, I didn't say this, but I particularly use three drops of essential oils, either orange or lemon or something like that. Um, and let me tell you, the dishes came so much cleaner. So I am not buying those little pods anymore. This is cheaper and works better. Just make sure you don't put too much Dawn in there. I didn't do that, but I hear, did hear Denise Jordan at Homemaking with Denise Jordan had done that one time and she put way too much Dawn in there and it was a little bit of a mess she said so be careful of that you only need three drops let me just clarify so I added an extra three drops of essential oils to make it smell good not instead of the Dawn Okay, that was just daily chores in the kitchen, but I am going to clean the front of the dishwasher, the refrigerator, and the stove because I didn't do that in my reset because I didn't get around to it and I was more concentrating on the pantry and the freezer and the refrigerator because I don't, it doesn't matter when I bring the groceries home whether the front of the fridge is clean or not. It matters if the inside is. So anyway, I'm getting to that and uh, yeah, I'm doing that now. And I'm pretty happy on how I progressed this month, especially compared to last month. But that being said, I mean, I was dealing with some family issues last month. So, you know, I did the best I could and it did feel good to get it all clean and then just do touch up throughout the month. And that is my point here. I'm no longer going to do the Sunday home refresh. I'm just going to do it monthly and then throughout the month. Um, I will just do touch up. If it needs clean, clean, then I will. So there's that. Okay, and now I'm going to straighten the family room. That is a daily occurrence around here because um, we live here. It really should be called the lounge because we definitely lounge in here. So I'm not going to monthly clean in here because I plan on doing a reset and refresh for spring in here because I'm going to change the decor up move some things around, add some things, and uh, I will do that then, and that will probably be in a Tiny Tidy Tuesday, hopefully, soon. So just like the other rooms, when I do a monthly home reset, I'm going to vacuum and dust, and that is the extra things that I do just monthly, and on a daily basis, um, I just uh, straighten up and send Chewy in there. I might vacuum once a week, um, but yeah, that's it. Vacuum and dust. And then I will add something extra, maybe once a month, like vacuum, take all the cushions off and vacuum the couch, uh, whack, clean the windows, just like one thing a month. I think that's enough. And then I'll be concentrating on spring cleaning, deep cleaning, one zone every season so for this zone for this season it is the master bedroom master bath i will be deep cleaning that or some people call that spring cleaning but i don't really do spring cleaning anymore and moving on to cleaning the guest bathroom or aka son's bathroom but we use it too if we're in the family room we're going to use that bathroom to go to the bathroom and if um 
there are guests over, they will use that bathroom also. So yes, son should maybe clean that, but uh, I prefer to do it myself. <laughs> I just do. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I prefer to clean that myself and that's fine. If that's what I want to do, I can do that. And uh, yeah. Okay, that worked well, y'all. So that's my new uh, way of cleaning the shower. Um, I don't know why I haven't been able to figure it out. But now, in the past, I um, was using that. It's really a cobweb duster. And it was easy. Y'all see me do that. And it was easy to reach and stuff like that. And I didn't have to bend. Um, but it really wasn't scrubbing that much it's not like this so this works really well i might go ahead and buy two more of these and hang them in the shower with a container of i don't know cleaner <laughs> vinegar and dawn and i know you're not supposed to use them because i read that because because the the vinegar does something to the dawn negates it i don't know anyway but the the um The switch there, the lever, is was all foggy and whatnot and mill well not mildewy, but um, there was mildew in there and I got most of it. But the shower door was also like all foggy and that's all clean now. And I'm gonna try this out in my shower in Hubby's shower, the master bedroom shower, and that worked well. So I'm gonna do use that. Um yeah, cause you the the brush thingy that that was on the stick um was not enough pressure to scrub so I feel like it's a lot cleaner so uh, I'm gonna just let that air dry should I windex it probably but I'm not oh how did that happen there's still you can't see it but there's still some kind of residue on the top all right I'm gonna mop next yeah Okay, that was a workout. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the mop now and I'm going to mop the whole entire uh, zone three section tile plus zone two section tile too. And then I'm done. <laughs> Let's put a finish on this, shall we? So for the monthly home refresh, part of that would be mopping all the zones. So I already did zone one, so I'm gonna do zone two and zone three and do the deep mopping which and do the baseboards with the mop. Uh, do I get every baseboard? No, uh, I try my best and do what I can do for the energy I have on this day, which is pretty good. So I use the, sp the spin mop and on a daily basis or weekly basis, I use the spray and mop, which doesn't mop as well, but I'm using vinegar and some method uh, soap. <laughs> I think it's the spring, no, rain scent, the rain scent soap. So it smells really good and I don't know, I think that works just fine. Not Method Soap, Mrs. Meyers Soap. I do like the Rain Scent one because it ranks better on the Think Dirty app that I no longer use because you have to pay for it. But it does rate like only a three, I think, which is a good rating. Eight is not a good rating. And the Think Dirty app rates them for cleanliness, making sure there's no nasty chemicals in it and stuff like that. As you can see, when I dumped the water in the toilet, apparently that is a YouTube thing. It was really not that dirty. So I think my floors are not that bad. Using the spray mop works really well and saves my back. All right, now I just need to wait for the floor to dry. 
And then I can put some of the stuff back where it belongs, because I moved it. And then maybe run Chewy. But I'm done for now. And I need to edit this video for y'all. Okay, you're getting a little bonus clip here. I'm going to show you what I got at Publix because I didn't get everything that I needed at Sprouts, so I needed to pick up things like cheese and a few other things. And later this month, I will go to Aldi. It is if I even need to. It might can wait till the end of the month or next month. All right, I just got back from Publix. So I showed you what I got from Sprouts the other day in my cleaning video. If you missed that, um, check that out. It's within my cleaning video at the end of it, I think. Yes, uh, one of the videos, episode two. So I was going, planning on doing a monthly haul at Aldi. Well, that didn't work out because I went to Sprouts and spent too much money. I did stock up, stock up on some meat at Sprouts though. So, um, but we need some things. And so I'm gonna make this last for two weeks and then maybe do an Aldi monthly haul. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so I got two Caesar salads for son and I, and I, I like to buy the cheese at Aldi because it's cheap, but for, in the meantime, it'll probably be two weeks before I get to Aldi. I got some pepper jacks at the Tillamook, Tillamook, I don't know how you say that, um, was on sale two for five, I don't remember, and the Cabot was on sale too. And then I got some butter, but I get that at Aldi too because it's cheaper. I got some caribou coffee. To, they only had this kind of coffee, the light roast. We like the dark roast. Publix is the only place that I know that carries it. I like the caribou coffee. I got some Parmesan cheese. I got some uh, pizza dough to make pizza from. And I got some cumin. So, have you requested Brits crackers, some English muffins, um, some chocolates, because the girl has to have her chocolate, some tzatziki sauce, Makoto's dressing, um, <laughs> what's that that's doing there? Somebody, hubby had that for lunch, um, white chocolate mocha, I do have some other creamer in there, I do like to buy it from Walmart, because that's the cheapest place, um, but I just grabbed this to tide us over. There is some in the refrigerator. And then I was buying the Ocean Spray because it was cheaper, but no longer. It's like $5.99 and this is $3.85. <laughs> so we're going back to buying the Northland. And I will stock up on it when it's buy one, get one free. It wasn't, so I needed some bananas always. And then I went ahead and bought this Libman. I do like the Libman products because they are cheaper and still pretty good quality but i like how this has a hook on it and i can just hang it over the shower and leave it in there so i can scrub the shower one minute i needed some garlic i got that some mozzarella cheese for the um pizza and i just got one thing of cat food to tie this over i'm going to do a target or walmart depending haul for um or order for um cat food delivery see if I can get it. And mushrooms, we go through mushrooms a lot. And I got the cats some of this fresh pet. We haven't had that in a while. Um, it's like a treat in between feedings. Um, we just feed them twice a day, canned cat food. This, I bought this boar's head protein bowl. It has turkey and sweet potatoes, cranberries. It's pretty good. So, And then son requested this chicken salad sometimes i make it myself and but this time i bought some it's kind of expensive <laughs> what was that 647 for that little thing and then this was eight yeah you know when you're hung when you go shopping and you're hungry so i stocked up on green beans um and corn i like to buy the green wise organic i they all these doesn't always have organic of everything so I ended up buying some from Publix. I needed some um, black beans. I have enough garbanzo beans and kidney beans. So there's that. So I got, I think, three of each. Three corn, three green beans, three... Or did I? No, two corn, two green beans, and three black beans. And then I really like this chicken corn chowder. Progresso, so I bought that. And hubby requested New England clam chowder and then i'm buying the bigger diced canned 
fire roasted tomatoes because it's cheaper than buying two cans. Um, and whenever I make something, it's usually two cans. So I might go buy the big stuff, right? And I do like this organic Mur Mur Glen diced fire roasted tomatoes. And the tuna was on sale, so it was five for five. So I got that. And then this was on sale. I don't know. I've never cooked this before. Let's see how it goes. I did not end up getting a pot roast from uh, Sprouts so because I didn't see one or they were too expensive. But this was on sale, I'm guessing, because, you know, uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. It is corned beef brisket. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to try that in the, in, in the Instapot. And I got a thing of eggs and I will get another one when we go to when I go to all these again probably in two weeks so that was oh, I'll put the price here I think two twenty five and then I spent five not five hundred I spent three hundred at um sprouts the other day so this better last two weeks at least I bought enough meat for more than two weeks, so I will only probably get a little bit of meat at Aldi and some produce for the for the week or two weeks. Yeah. All right, that's it. And then I will add the Aldi. Chicken. What chicken? Part size. Oh, <laughs> I bought a box of chicken. I usually usually get a rotisserie chicken or a box of chicken. I alternate it whenever I go grocery shopping, so I don't have to cook that that night so that's we're gonna people are gonna have chicken i'm probably gonna have a salad hubby's probably gonna have this i bet your son will probably have the um caesar salad so actually i, I bought one of these for you babe Excellent. chicken because i bought another i bought the turkey and potato one for me so you can have a little bit of chicken and salad i don't know it does also have chicken in it anyway that's it and then i'll show you I'll add all these to this, or do, do I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I might add this to my cleaning video, maybe. Guys, I feel so much better for having had the whole house clean at the beginning of the month, and now that clears my head. It clears up my head space, and my shoulders relax, and I don't have to worry about I could just go and touch up the rest of the house throughout the month, and... Uh, and of course do my daily chores every day actually sometimes that only happens monday wednesday friday but picking up is key so stay on top of that and the house will stay clean let me know what you got down in the comments below i would like to know and make sure you click my face right there if you're new so you don't miss another cleaning video or fix it friday video or tiny tuesday until next time guys enjoy your day